people, this is Zero from Freelance Pakistan and yes, the DB 4.0 has arrived. Uh, so they just launched uh, the new DB 4.0 uh, 8 to 7 hours ago and I've been using it for around a couple of hours. I've tried the new theme builder and I can tell you that I'm already in love with the new update. Uh, so the main highlight of this update, the DB 4.0 update is the new theme builder and the new improvement in the dynamic content editing. So if you don't know what a theme builder is, uh, basically using a theme builder, you can change default header, default body and default footer of any theme you want to. So this is a really cool and handy feature which will definitely make the life of us, the designers, very easy. Also the dynamic content editing, basically uh, what you can do that is you can create a template for your post and uh, then you can use it for every post and it is gonna fetch the title of that post and it is gonna dynamically change the title and the background image. Uh, so this video is just going to be a first impression and a quick walkthrough of the new theme builder. Uh, we're not gonna go into the details of each and every feature that is included or uh, that has been introduced to us in this new theme builder update. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are and Elegant Themes also created a blog about the theme releases, about the new uh, change look, you can say. And there they say that DV 4.0 has arrived, introducing the DV theme builder. Uh, so there's also a trailer kind of video uh, in which basically they tell you what they have included in this new theme update. And here is the new theme builder and this is the main highlight of this DV 4.0 update. Nothing is off limits, uh, basically what they mean is that you can uh, not only change uh, the header, footer or custom body of a page, but you can uh, change the template, the footer, header or body of each and every page. And by each and every page, I mean that all the pages, all the search item pages, all the blog post pages, all the categories pages, um, error 404 pages, each and every page of your website. Uh, here you can see some snaps of the new update. Then you can also import and export the theme builder packs which is a really cool feature and it is gonna come in handy later on. And as I said, design every part of your website, will build custom headers, footers, post templates, category pages, 404 pages and everything in between. And then there are some uh, custom footer examples and custom header examples and then you can also see the custom product uh, example. Uh, so basically what we're going to do here is that we're going to go to our dashboard and uh, we're going to go to the appearance and themes and uh, here you can see that the active theme is Divi and if we check on the theme details it says that it is the version 4.0. Uh, so after you upload the DV 4.0 you're going to see an extra option here in this Divi icon and this is the theme builder option. So if we click on it, uh, we're going to get uh, this kind of interface and there is this button to save all our changes and then this text which says Divi theme builder. Uh, so for example, if we open up our site here, you can see this default header and this default footer. Uh, and then if you go to any other page, we can see this again, this default header and this default footer. Uh, so before this update, if we wanted to have a custom header, uh, we had to create a custom header or footer for each and every page and then upload it or uh, just add it to each and every page of our website. But after this update, what we can do is that we can simply go to theme builder and for example, uh, we can create a new template here we can select all pages, create template and simply from here we can add a custom header. So build custom header, uh, we can simply build a custom header from scratch from pre-made layout or clone existing page and then uh, we can add rows and simply create anything we want uh, to include in our header. So for example, uh, I'm going to quickly create a custom header and I'll be back with you guys.
Uh, okay, so here we have a custom header. I just made it quickly. And now what we can do is that after we have uh, designed our custom header, we can simply save this by pressing Control S or by going from this and then clicking on this button. And now we can exit from here and then simply click on Save Changes. And now what we're going to do is that save our changes. And if you go to our uh, website and refresh here, we are going to get the new custom header and here you can see our new custom header we have the social media icons here we have the search functionality here and then we have our navigation menu here and now uh, if you go to any other page of our website for example this one mission dbz sections we're gonna get this custom header again uh, so what we did now was that just simply create a custom header and it was applied to whole of our website uh, so we can do the same thing with the footer uh, so this is a really cool feature and i'm already in love with it uh, uh, i hope that you will also find it useful because i know i have already found it very useful and also the new dynamic content editing it's really cool so for example if you go back to this blog and you scroll down you can see here the enhanced power of dynamic content and you can read this out i'm not gonna read this and and then they have also mentioned that the woocommerce modules are better than ever they were uh, launched a few weeks back and they are also a really cool feature so this is it from the quick walkthrough and uh, first impressions of the new theme builder and the new dv 4.0 also, this is the first video in English on our YouTube channel. So if you want to learn DV in Urdu, you can check our playlist Mission DVC. And yes, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, take care. Allah Hafiz.